My name is Jamie Madrox. My name is Pumpkin Paul, also known as Monoxide. And you're watching Andy Music. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambien. I would like to welcome you to my interview with Twisted. Hello. We're back. Yeah, what we're up? We're back. How are you? We're good. We're tired. We're doing We're exhausted, good. but all in good ways. That is what tour yeah. life and doing about 30 different things will do to you. Yes, You guys indeed. have been busy. We are in Toronto. Yesterday was our first time in Montreal. That was amazing. It was. Um, Je m'appelle Paul for all of our French listeners. Well and done. When I'm in Montreal, je m'appelle Chicken Nugget. <laughs> Chicken Nugget, when did that nickname come about? Just in Montreal. That's it, just in Montreal. I like how you say Montreal. Only in Montreal. 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 Very nice. Hmm? Well, as you mentioned, we are here back in Toronto, but the one different thing from the last time I saw you is this time we are celebrating 20 years of Twisted. It's how, true. How does that make you feel? Honestly? <laughs> don't, don't, no. God no, damn look, it, don't be honest. Um, the reality of it is that, for me, it's ahead, like... I didn't even think like I'd personally be alive to 30. 30? I that thought is that honest. No, he is being honest. So that was an accomplishment in itself. So Everything's just gravy. have a CD? That's crazy. It's right. true. The that's yeah, that's awesome. I think it's weird because um, we're trying to be true to the original. Like, like this, is, this is somewhat, aside from our uh, nature and, and the universe doing whatever it did to our bodies physically since then to now, this is what we look like when we originally started. So you get what you get, people. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're doing exactly what you got back then tonight except now technology is better so maybe it'll sound better yeah that's kind of crazy doing a 20 year old record yeah that's interesting for us i'm sure there's a lot of nostalgia too hitting you each night it really is yeah i think so i mean it's like and i think it's weird because i said to him and i was like it's like it's weird how some of these songs are still scarily relevant. I'm still like this with the microphone. Oh, after our last yeah. episode, yeah, yeah. it was like this. I'm <laughs> like this. I'm like, like that. I'm like, yeah, straight up. But 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 like, I, I think it's weird. Like how some of the songs are scarily still relevant today. today. Like they're Absolutely. so old, but like they still ring true. Like the lyrics and everything. Hell, it today. means you've done something right. I'm, uh, either that, or we were on some futuristic time capsule owl shit. Caps you out. No, Caps it's, you it's out. when you Caps look you at out. it and you listen to it 20 years later, you see why it had the impact that it had. Right on. It's timeless. Mm -hmm. This record, you'll be able to, it'll be relevant 20 years from now and 20 years after that again. It'll, I sure hope so. I believe, I, I, I'm, I'm with that. I agree with that. Yep. Hell yeah. I believe that. Let's, I do too. I do too. I do as well. Cheers. Let me in on this. Thank you. You're supposed to look everybody in the eyes when you cheers. <laughs> Paul McCartney made that so. He fucking jinxed everybody in a Christmas song. He said, do cheers and look in the eyes. And if you My don't, you're like, you have, you have to. Just that's from now on, you have to. Everybody who's seen this, you have to cheers and look in the eyes. I it's love a, the little tidbits. It's a tidbits good, look. It's a good luck thing. It's just it a good is. luck thing. It's a wives' tale. A wives' tale or wives? You know, I, it's always been a discrepancy. Is it wives or wise? I've, I've heard both. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I call it a wives' tale and a wise tale. What if they're wise old wives? Two for one. Two yeah. for one. If they have beards, then they're not very wise. Well, aside from being super excited about the tour that you're on right now, it's also an exciting time because Twisted Haunted High Ons is coming out. It's you true. You just be so excited about that because you've we had are. comic books in the past, but this is like your first real one. So it's coming, seeing that come into fruition and seeing yourselves as characters must just completely geek you out each time. It's insane. It's, it's absolutely, like, beyond a fucking... Am I allowed to cuss? I oh, forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think we can oh. do an interview with oh, you two and not being allowed oh, to cuss. shit, yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like, it's like a, 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 a heavenly feeling to be able to know that from now on, we have been encapsulated in a comic book universe where those characters will forevermore be alive. They will and we never... got to debut it at Mecca. NYCC at the Source Point booth in the mecca of the Comic Con universe, New York <laughs> Comic Con. We came in there, we blessed it off. It's massive. We were with Dirk Manning and, and, and Mary and Alessandro and, and the creative team who brought Haunted High Ons together. And we all sat down and we signed. And um, it was a great vibe. It was a great feeling. It was a great day. It was a great accomplishment for us and MNE and, yeah. and, and Gary and everybody who helped make that book a reality and it's just the first one more to come they called it a one shot because in the comic book world there's like levels of legalities okay and um i guess like if you say you have a one shot it means like it's a standalone story but if you look at the last page it's kind of on a cliffhanger and that's kind of how us and dirk intended it to be so that 
if something went wrong, they wouldn't be on the publishing company. But the publisher's like, fuck that, we want more. And we're like, <laughs> we have out. more. So it's going to be great. We got, we got good shit. We got good shit coming. View it because of all the guests and all the stars and the mega stars that are at a Comic Con. So to have a, a few hundred people coming by and get our autograph, we're just like, well, you know, Rick Rhymes is over there. <laughs> right. Blown away. Absolutely. Cool. You it's actually, true. You I'm actually, sorry. No, I'm sorry. don't be. Are my That's knees fun. coming through? They're, uh, do, do mine are very sure. extremely stark white. Like I was about to say, do you want chicken. them to? Is I'm, that something I'm, I'm you want to show them off? Yeah, a little bit. I was getting a little gam in there as well. I don't know if it's... I've been working on them. It's <laughs> popping out good enough, but I'll go ahead and show Shoot that for down for you guys. Knees. Okay. You're welcome. Well, in this comic book, you actually take on a side gig as Ghost Hunter. So do you believe in the paranormal? I know you love all things horror. Absolutely. You do. I do. I believe he does. I think I, okay, put it this way. And I'm going to, I don't want to cut you off. No. But ever since we were children, I've had, I've had several paranormal experiences. I'm not saying that he has or hasn't had his own. We've shared ghost stories, but I believe that he's had, I believe, I believe Paul, not monoxide. I believe Paul has had certain experiences in his life, but he's yet waiting for the real experience to make him a full-on believer. I believe he dabble believes. I personally have had so many I was touched by a ghost. You were? I was sexually so molested by a ghost. You do dabble believe then. Oof. No, honestly, for... Um, I I'm wasn't aware he was going to share that with you guys today. I'm sorry for all the viewers. <laughs> I apologize. That was, uh, Run a disclaimer at the bottom of the goddamn I'm screen. I'm that guy. I'm that skeptic. And it's like, I d absolutely didn't believe for a long time until stuff that happened to him. So I kind of believe through him, if okay. that makes like sense. Like, I've shared a lot of my stories with him. So that's like, weird shit happened to me, though. Right, right. Which I'm saying, like, so, so basically, dabble, things have dabbled around him to where he's like, it has to be real. But nothing right. that has just been, like, cut and dry, holy shit, that is real. Like, with okay. me, I'm like, holy shit, it's real. I was actually touched by shit, I've seen shit, I've, I've been in the room with shit, and I believe it wholeheartedly. I don't know answers, I don't know shit, but I know something exists, I don't know what it is. But that's why okay. I'm intrigued by it. So the, the idea, the concept of the book is that we are want to be ghosts, we want to be ghost hunters, and we don't know what the fuck we're doing, and we go <laughs> dabbling, and we fuck around and get into some real shit. A lot of dabbling. And when we dabble... Hijinks ensue. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, what happened? <laughs> it's like shit. Shaggy and Scooby, except they're human. And they got a lot of weed. Yeah. <laughs> That's your Scooby snacks, right? I'm saying, come on. <laughs> Why? You know Shaggy's exactly. last name is Beauregard? No. Really? Another is it really? Another go. fun you fact. First, first, so many first fun Paul facts McCartney tip and now this. These are always <laughs> fucking so informative. We're like Snapple caps. God damn it. There's little facts in there. So many gems. I didn't know that either. That's another fact. There it is. Indeed. Look under your Snapple caps. <laughs> little gems. Well, I have to bring up Astronomicon that is coming up. Yes. Because you were just putting everything together. You have music, you have comic books. Like, it's a plethora of all things at a Comic-Con, which That's is amazing. Cool. I actually interviewed Chris Jericho recently, and he was putting together a boat cruise, and he said it was just an absolute shit show getting all those different aspects. So yes. was that something you went through? I don't know if I'd call it a shit show, but I can relate in his, in, 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 in his colorful analogy of how it's, it's a fucking clusterfuck. So he calls it a shit show, <laughs> okay. clusterfuck. Same deal. It's, it's a lot of people don't want to deal with what they call first-time cons. So, like, what that means is it's our first endeavor in going into it. So, of course, we think it's all easy. Why wouldn't you want to fuck with us? You know what I mean? But they're like, well. Right. A lot of times, before. everybody does a con. Right. And everybody books guests. And then all of a sudden, the con doesn't exist. And these yeah. people have booked it. Falls See what through. I mean? Doesn't look right. good. Right. And then we're in competition with SDCC, NYCC, ECCC, CCCC. And, uh, <laughs> so, you know, www.com. Www. wants to get on the Mecca. You know what I mean? I get that, but I think we got some really good guests. We still haven't we announced do. everybody. We yet, absolutely do. We have a, we have a plethora of good guests. But I'm just saying, like, and I can relate to his analogy of it being a shit show. Trying to secure talent, trying to get your permits, trying to get all your things that you want to make it have it because you it's want work. To, you it is work. Yeah. It's it's not going to be easy. You yeah. want it to be the very best possible thing it could possibly be, and if you're passionate about it, you will get it, and we are getting it. Are and it is going it. down. Hotel already sold out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sterling Heights, Michigan, February 9th through the 11th. Sounds close enough. It sounds close <laughs> enough, Jesus Christ, and, uh, uh, which is Sterling Heights, Michigan, which is metropolitan Detroit area. You can go on astronomicon.com 
and uh, and check out for for a list of the uh, available talent that will be there for your autographing and handshaking pleasure. All the events, like don't try to touch Kane Hodder's butt. He doesn't like that. We're trying to get it. Is so that, that from experience? Oh no 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 no! I, I, I would never. No, <laughs> no no! I've never. No, no. don't. I don't. You don't touch another. You don't touch another butt. man's butt. That's just off a of GP. I just wanted to say that on behalf of Kane. He just doesn't like people to touch. He'll it's be in there, his contract though. that I express that to you. <laughs> Well, you do mention, I've done my contractual obligation. Thank you very much. You do mention all of the amazing guests you'll have. And on the wrestling front, yes. you've announced Booker T so far. Exactly. I believe Mick Foley was five, announced five, prior. Five, five, five times. Yes, I know. absolutely. It's going to be Come so, on. How cool is this? I mean, it's crazy. Saying, it's shaping up to be. Papa Shango. Like, the list is. It's just. It's, it's a crazy. It's crazy. Right? I'm like, oh my just God. Just you wait. The photo op with Papa Shango. With I'm Sid like, Hague. But is he going with to Sid be. Hague. With Sid Haig. I was going to say, is he going to be dressed as the Godfather, Papa? Is he going to be going as Charles? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Are you trying I'm, to sway it? I don't want to I don't want to be presumptuous, but I'm hoping. I'm, I'm going to go for my, my. I'm going straight fandom here. I'm hoping one day Papa, one day Pimp. Okay. I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Papa and Pimp. You're going to form. I was kind of talking about this the other day and how it totally <laughs> went fly these days, but like, right. ho train. Oh, come on. I'm saying, I'm, I'm hoping a couple hoes in the background. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be sexist over here, but I want a hoe over there, a hoe over there. I want it to be like goddamn Chris. Christmas over here with the hoes. It's going to be great. It's going to be fucking great. So I'm guessing you guys are massive wrestling fans then. Massive, I don't know. I, I enjoy it a lot. He doesn't care for it as much as I do, okay. but I enjoy it. I enjoy it enough for both of us. I think that's fair <laughs> enough to say that I enjoy it enough for both of us to, to say that, yeah, we like wrestling. He, I just watched he, he the dabbles. wrestling match. That was pretty he awesome, dabbles. though. He dabbles, and he dabbles enough to, to say that he knows. And if he I doesn't know who know, the Rock is. If he doesn't know who somebody is, he asks me, and then I say, yeah, I know that person. And he says, yeah, know we know Greg that the person. the Hammer Beefcake is. It's, it's Valentine, but beef, yeah, he, know, we know them, know too. Know we them. smoked weed with those guys. They're Close hella enough. chill. Greg the Hammer Beefcake is, they're, both of those guys are totally good with us. No more. We've seen you in comic book form. We obviously see you here tonight. We saw you last time with the makeup. But if we, if we were to see you in gimmicks for wrestling, uh-huh. what would those twisted gimmicks be? Hmm. My finishing move would be called the asser. Oh my God. The asser. Yep. Oh, figure yeah. it out. <laughs> figure it out. You know where that goes. We used to have we used to have wrestling gimmicks back in the day. Um, they they were very 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 strange. Um, I got attacked by the wrestling ring once upon a time. I tried to run the ropes in the wrestling ring. We had one set up where people would practice, and I tried to do this thing that I saw everybody do on television where you sit on the middle rope, tuck your feet under the yep. bottom, and it stripped It's kind of balanced. It stripped me. Yeah. And what I mean by strip me is it everything was <laughs> naked. I'm talking balls, underwear went that way, and there penis was went that way, could do. and a helpless man named Jamie lie in the middle of a canvas mat screaming for his friends. With his legs entangled in ropes. Crying. <laughs> Because keep in mind, two metal twined things are cutting off the circulation from him. And we can't get them apart because we're laughing yeah. so hard. They're looking oh, no. at my penis and balls turning blue and purple. I didn't look at his neck. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and I'm crying and they helped me and they secured my legs and I was able to fashion my pants back up into a suitable manner to attain my manlyhood. And after that, I was known as the fucker. I got high with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. He did. And the Honky Tonk Man. Got a shotgun from both of them. Thank you very much. Ooh. That was weird. I was going. I didn't know we were going to. Yeah, like I was, right was going to wear my barber shirt today too. And he gave me a shotgun. And I think he kissed my cheek. I wasn't aware we were going to kiss at the end, but I think it made it a little more special. <laughs> why is it that each time I sit with you guys, there's always a somewhat embarrassing story that comes up? Last time we were talking. I don't about, know why it's embarrassing. Talking about breaking I honestly, the chair. I think. I think. I think <laughs> I think maybe there's something going on. I don't know why it's so embarrassing. That is the life we live. Okay. I think, I think we're just, we're living on the edge and we're just happy to be here. Last time we really dove into your latest record release, the continuous evolution of life's question marks. Yes. I had a lot of people when I said that in the interview, like question marks, they're like, no, it's questions. No, it is not. And I you know. were right. You I, knew, were right. I knew I was and, right. And they stand corrected in the midst of your corrections. <laughs> we made it like Damn. that too. We knew I love, that's what I they love would it. think. And we I, love right. I love that you were right. I love that you were right, and they tried to correct you, and you were right. still right. I just kind of wanted to hear it so they could have some validation oh, yeah. oh, no. here. Like, you, listen I, you, from the band. They still argued. Highlight and fucking loop this part. You were right. <laughs> it ripped it. You were right. It ripped it. it. You were right. <laughs> there is a song off of that record that is Are You Insane Like Me, and it opens with Tell Me Are You Out of Your Mind. Is that something oh. that you get asked a lot? Is that where that came from? 
Um, oh, we used to get asked it a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, do something crazy, you know? Like, what the fuck? You want me to cut my arm off or something? Like, you know, here's a box cutter. Like, what the fuck? No. Like, like you're supposed to just on demand right. do things like, Jeez. like as if you're Comcast or something, Xfinity. Like, or on demand, put a hurt yourself out for on me. Your eye. Like, right. What the fuck is going on? I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think it's more, I think it's more uh, uh, aimed at as as people think that because we are what we are and what we do is already you're deranged and you're insane. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's more of a, it's more of an attack at that is there. That's already what right. they're saying to us in a, in a mainstream kind of way. Okay. That's what I get out of it. That's what we got. That's what we were going for. <laughs> Our insanity comes from the ability to say exactly what we feel. Are we getting good? Are we getting enough on this uncooked chicken over here? I just want to know. I mean, I got to. I feel like our lights might be cooking it too a little bit as we go, right? We got some good. I am up. Do you know how sick I am? Do you know how hopped up on Dayquil and Echinacea I am right now? You have no idea. I'm on the weeds. I have a couple cups of herbal tea. What were we drinking earlier today? What was it? I didn't drink anything. Oh, I guess I was drinking that by myself. It was herbal teas. I, I thought drink. you were with me. I'm a smoker. No, we were drinking some sort of teas. It must have been me and Matt Nips. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways. Oh my God, listen to that floor. It's God. so it's sticky, sticky, right? It's a very Crazy sticky It's so weird. I, was, I didn't know what, what went down before I arrived Stickiness. here, but... I heard it was a, the great semen fest of 2017. <laughs> Shame we were all a day oh. late. No, no, no. There's no shame in that, that game. I'm happy that we were delayed. I don't have service I'm extremely in Canada, happy so that I can't that really our... fact check it. Okay. But but maybe afterwards we'll check. Delayed on Once that I'm day. back in the States, I'll have an answer for everybody. All right. You'll have to I don't tweet have it at service me. now. I have to be able to Google. I mean, it smells spermy. <laughs> Not even touching that one. <laughs> Never Ill? touch sperm. Can we just say It's Ill impossible to get off your hands. It's weird. Even the water doesn't take it off. you got to get soap on it. Coming back to the tidbits, right? The fun facts with twists. All guys know that. Ill. <laughs> just ill. Well, just to wrap things up, I do want to bring it back to the fans. Anything you want to say to all those watching? All those 20 years strong or the ones who are just hopping on the twisted train? Um, first and foremost, she was absolutely right. It is life's question marks. Duh. Um, thank you guys, as always, for, uh, for following, supporting, and everything you do. Um, man, we out here representing for you each and every day. Everything we do, every time you see this face, this face, every time you hear our voices, um, I don't know. That's what I got to say. We love y'all. Answers coming 2017, sperm fest or not. <laughs> I would like to say thank you so much for joining me once again, guys. It was a lot of fun as always. Thank you. You're, You're not awesome. sure I'm going to be at that sperm fest thing. <laughs> I might skip that one and see you guys after that. <laughs> oh, I'm not going. I just want to make sure. That oh, that's you're not even going to be there, dude. <laughs> it happened. You're walking on it. Gross. <laughs> it's on the bottom of your shoes. Get the black so light. Gross. <sighs> That'll answer questions. It really would, wouldn't it? If, if, I swear to God, if you turn on a black light at the end of this interview and all of us are just spattered with the you. shit, I will. <laughs> <laughs> on all of us. God damn it. Thank you so much for having us again. Thank as always. you. We Thank appreciate you. it. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. And See ya. Music in half.